Hey everyone, so this video is going to cover the fitness industry and social media. I know it's going to step on a lot of people's toes and I hope it doesn't offend anyone. It will most likely bring me a lot of dislikes, so if I did offend anyone then you'll know. <laughs> but anyway, I hope it helps some of you and it just gives you a little bit of insight to my thoughts on these two topics. Now, I wouldn't define myself as being in the fitness industry but somehow I fell into it and what I realized it's really not what it should be when you think of the fitness industry you should think of it as being uplifting positive people should be encouraging others to reach their goals to follow their passions but instead it's people complaining about newbies in the gym it's people ripping other people down because they might do cardio instead of lifting or people because they do crossfit instead of lifting or yoga instead of lifting again it's become this whole big thing that everyone has to lift of course i lift because i love it but it doesn't mean that everyone else loves it and then on the flip side when new people do come to the gym and they start lifting people start filming them and laughing at their form without even helping them so in the logical world if you saw someone doing something that could injure themselves wouldn't you just help them? You'd think that that would be a natural reaction <laughs> to help them or at least tell a personal trainer in the gym to go over and help them. I've seen a lot of negative things going on around social media, whether it's on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. It's people knocking other people down. It's people starting drama. It's all stupid. I genuinely think that with all the social media buzz, people forgot why they even started it. You know, people are stripping down to their underwear so they can get more followers and more likes on photos and things but if you created a fitness page to motivate and inspire people then why aren't you sharing your top lifts why aren't you showing your abs when you're wearing a sports bra and shorts or why aren't you just pulling up your t-shirt to show your abs and people can see your booty shape and tights as well you don't need to be wearing a g-string you see all these supplement brands sponsoring all these girls that lift and you see them posting tubs of their protein next to their butt and the protein is like in the background you know it's a case of sex cells <laughs> but seriously girls guys if you've got a significant amount of followers as well and all you're doing is ripping into other people by sharing gym memes about newbies at the gym or other people's physiques and things well you're wasting the potential that you have so girls and guys if you've got a significant amount of followers then don't waste that opportunity I think that people have just gotten their heads so wrapped around some kind of social media fame and they've forgotten that Instagram is just like Monopoly, it's not real. <laughs> if you've already gained a following, whether it's a thousand, ten thousand, one hundred thousand, don't abuse that. You've got the chance to impact so many people's lives, you can inspire them and motivate them. You don't need to be stripped down to your underwear to do that. I feel like everyone got so caught up in competing, I don't mean competing on stage, I mean competing like within the gym and even outside the gym on social media and things, you know, there's no positive vibes around anymore, it's not encouraging people or lifting them up, it seems like there's more people cutting people down and doing the classic case of tall poppy syndrome than there is actually supporting others. It'd be cool if everyone just started supporting each other again, you know, if someone hits a PB, congratulate them, it's not that hard. I've also seen so many people in the fitness industry lose friends over petty things like changing supplement brands, changing clothing, sponsorships and things, and then changing federations for which they compete in. It's all petty stuff. If your friendships are real, then it should be stronger than silly things like that. Hoping people start waking up and realizing what's important to them. I'm making this video to say like, oh, you know, I'm going to change the world, I'm going to change the fitness industry, this is how it should be. That's not my objective, but I'm saying that if people stopped following all these people that weren't actually being a positive impact on the fitness industry and they started being a positive impact on the fitness industry and helping those that are in need then maybe the fitness industry would improve so although i can't do it if everyone combined together surely it would improve it it's just so sad to see that it's becoming such a toxic environment and that everyone's competing with everyone but at the end of the day we're all on our own journeys it should be you trying to be better than you were the day before or when you started and yeah if you're stepping on stage then obviously it's a competition 
but at the end of the day all of you worked so hard to step up on that stage and you should be proud of how far you've come so that's my, that's my little spiel for the day but anyway peace <laughs>